generally speaking, where I start the process from a compliance standpoint with every single customer I work with is we typically are doing a risk assessment. Um, the risk assessment is essentially a process that evaluates where your business stands from a nexus perspective. It identifies if there are any states that you need to be registered in, either for physical or economic nexus. It's going to evaluate what your trigger event was. So was it the economic or the physical aspect? The reason we do that is to figure out how long you have potentially had nexus in that state really important to figure that out because then we want to look at your exposure if there is any. So we look at the, the amount of time you've had Nexus and then we look at how much you've sold into those uh, jurisdictions over the amount of time that you have had it so that we can determine if you have any tax liability. The good news for a lot of my SAGE clients is that a lot of what may look like tax liability on paper is actually something that would be covered up by the collection of an exemption document if you don't have the right one on file. So that would tell you you need to collect certain documents to make sure that before you get registered in the state, um, you know, that you have documentation to back up why you weren't charging tax up until that point. If you do have true tax liability and you haven't been filing and reporting appropriately, there are paths that you can take to, to kind of eliminate some of the costs associated with getting into compliance. So there's a program called Voluntary Disclosure that we can help you with um, that would guarantee penalty and interest abatement. It also limits your look back period so that you don't have to pay all of the tax that's due to the state. Um, so we would work with you throughout this whole process. The risk assessment tells us a lot. It tells us about where you're missing the mark. It tells us how you need to proceed with each state. We have a tax advisory team here internally that would help make a recommendation for how you get registered with the states. Um, and then the other really great news is that we have a software that helps to manage all of this from there on out. Um, and so all of the challenges I've sort of talked about throughout this presentation our software will eliminate a lot of those challenges. So we have a cloud-based solution that is going to tie into Sage 100 and allow us to override the native tax functionality in Sage. So that if you're in a situation where you have to collect tax, we have the ability to automatically keep up with all of the rates, calculate tax within your invoices. Um, we also have integrations into most of the commonly used shopping cart or e-commerce solution. So if that's something you're using, we can also help at that level. We have a tool that is very, very important for a lot of my Sage customers called CERT Capture that helps to manage your exemption documents. It helps to make sure you're collecting the right documents for each state, for each client, helps to manage your expirations and keep you on top of that. And then we also have a way of actually filing and remitting your reporting and returns back to the state on your behalf. So we can fully automate filing your returns. Um, so it's sometimes scary to think about getting into compliance because of all the work that may come as a result of that. Um, but the reason I'm kind of bringing this up, we can help you figure out where you stand from a compliance standpoint, and then we can also help to automate that compliance once you've figured it out. So it seems like if you kind of spark some interest, because I think you hit some some key points around <clears throat> the COVID changing the business structure of, of late and remote employees sell more of the web, shipping more. You know, those questions probably sparked a lot of, of concern and, and thought around our client base. If they if they look to you to do a, a risk assessment, what's what's the cost of that risk assessment? Sure. So we have two different versions of our risk assessment, um, very business to business on which we recommend. We have a version that costs $4,500 and we have a version that costs $8,500. And right now, um, any of the customers that come to us as a result of watching this presentation and, and our partnership with Matrix will receive 25% off of both of those assessments. So, um, you know, what I would typically say is if you're in a situation where any of this has sparked even a single question to let's schedule a consultation um, and you know, talk a little bit more about your business specifically to determine which risk assessment is the best one for you to start with, if any, um, and then how we can kind of help you from, from there on out. And do they, just so we know from a logistical standpoint, do they contact us and we contact you or do you, do you like clients to contact you directly? 
I would say they can contact Matrix um, and everyone at Matrix. I work really closely with the, the consultants at Matrix so they can get you over to me um, or my information is in this presentation. You can reach out to me directly and just note that you're a Matrix customer and I'll loop in your account manager at Matrix as well so we can make sure you get that discount. It doesn't Excellent. matter either way, it's fine. Excellent, I appreciate your help and interest in, in our client base. Absolutely. Any other questions you can think of, Jeremy? I think that'd be it. Okay. Well, I thank you. Um, if you have gotten this far, I really, really appreciate you taking the time to listen. Um, and I hope that maybe this has helped a little bit um, to either ease your mind. And if it hasn't eased your mind and it's created questions, then, um, you know, I always say, please don't panic. Um, instead, let's just schedule a call. Let's talk about your specific situation. And then let's come up with a game plan because, um, you know, a big part of my job is helping companies navigate where they stand from a compliance perspective. And most of them are not calling because they're in compliance. Most of them are not in compliance. And so um, that's what we do as a business is help, um, you know, companies navigate compliance and then figure it out day to day so that you don't have to take on a bunch of extra work. <laughs>